The next soap talk. Is Stephen Nichols under a GH gag order? All I can tell you is that I'm going to be seriously evil. Our first guest came to fame on Days of Our Lives as the mysterious and sexy Patch. Now fans know him as the manipulative Stefan Cassadine on General Hospital. Take a look. Luke the hero. How fortunate Laura is to have you. You know, if you do locate her, perhaps you can terrorize her even further into her black hole of silent madness. Please welcome Stephen Nichols. Thank you. The bearded ranger. Yes, the bearded ranger. You'll never see a ranger with a beard. <laughs> Until you now. You look great. Look at you. are nice Thanks. and thin and trim. And you look like you've been working out. What's the deal? Sexy. Yeah, yeah I've been working out. I go to Gold's Gym in Venice. and <laughs> Whenever I'm uh, out of town, I go to Gold's. You, you work out, man. I work out. At, I, I, have a membership, I have, like, two memberships to Gold's. I have, like, memberships to Gold's everywhere. I have a membership yes. to Gold's in Venice and yeah. one in New York. So yeah, but you can go anywhere now. They, if you just take your card and you can oh, go yeah? to any one of them. Very anyway, cool. Very cool. you have hairier arms than I do. I didn't know that. But. Well, you know what? <laughs> I've actually been That's cultivating great. it, so I'm looking to try and this grow it and braid it. This is such a titillating <clears throat> interview so far. <laughs> Isn't it titillating? It's very titillating. Hairier I don't know, arms. but I love when you say titillating. <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you right now. You know what? Let's be, that'll be the word of the day. Okay. Titillating will be the word. Like we're that. having a word of the day now on Soap Talk. Are you? And yes. yesterday it was delectable. Yes. Today it will be titillating. Okay. All right. Go on with it. So the titillating yeah. Stephen Nichols is here. Yeah. <laughs> Oh. Welcome back, GH. Yes. Been, yes, GH. So you're General back. Hospital. After I'm back. 16 months uh, absence. Something like that. Yeah, 16 were, months. Were you surprised when they called? Um, a little. Yeah. I thought uh, they might call at some point because uh, they didn't kill me off. Ah, that's right. nice. They sent me off on my little self-discovery journey. Oh, good. But you're working with Tyler Christopher again, right? Yeah, I'm back with my son. I call him my son because. Uh, you know, that's just the relationship we have. You know, we, we're very close. We Tyler were, plays Nicholas. Yeah, Tyler plays Nicholas, and uh, that was one of the reasons I wanted to come back and do it, because we have such a great connection. Yeah. yeah. Now, do you know how long you're going to be there? Uh, it looks like about seven months. Yeah. That's a nice little stint. <laughs> can you give us a little hint of where you might storyline? Or I know you can't give anything away, but can you tease anything? Oh, God. I, I, all I can tell you is that I'm going to be Seriously evil. Mm. Oh, that's great. We need that on yeah. daytime, don't we? Yeah, and it's a lot of fun. You know, it's it's good to to come back and you know with a lot of power and a lot of strength. Now, when you were on Days of Our Lives, did you guys work at the same time? No. When you played Patch, obviously on Days of Our Lives. Yeah. No, I was actually a big fan of the show and of yours before I got on the oh, show, and then sweet. it's true. You were not. I was. Who were wasn't? A fan Patch, of Patch and Kayla, Kayla. absolutely. Patch and Kayla. Oh, yeah. You guys. But unfortunately, we did not get to work together. Uh, yeah. But I've always been a big fan. Thank you so much. That's very definitely, sweet. Yeah. definitely. So it's nice to have you back on daytime. Thanks. Do you like working with the boys over at um, GH, the writers? I'm um, Charles, of course. Um, Chuck and Bob. Chuck and Bob. The Chuck and Bob show. Chuck and Bob show. I yeah, work with Chuck great. on Melrose. So. Yeah, I saw. Uh, well, actually, you know, I haven't met Chuck yet. You haven't? No, no, I haven't. I've been too busy. Been working good. just about every busy day. Is good. Yeah. Uh, but Bob uh, gave me a big welcome in the parking lot, big hugs, and uh, you know, he had just won his Emmy, so he was oh. very happy. <laughs> yeah. It's always good to catch good. him then. Yeah, yeah. Now, I read nice. somewhere that, I have to ask you this, that you used to be a monk. Uh, yes, I did, yes. That uh, is fascinating. I'm yeah. sure you've told the story a million times, and it's probably yeah. an old story From to you, but to us. Actor, yeah. No, when I was uh, in my late teens, I was really searching, as we all are at that time, and... Uh, a friend of mine turned me on to meditation and then to self-realization fellowship in Los Angeles. Oh, right. And I actually came to Los Angeles to be a monk and I lived uh, the celibate life for three years. Uh, a very disciplined life and uh, wow. I realized after some time that I wanted to have a family, that I really had that strong desire to have a family. The whole time you were a monk, were you just figuring to yourself, hey, if this monk thing doesn't work out, I'll try soap operas? Or? <laughs> <laughs> Like, how do you go from monk to soap opera I don't know. Star? Look, I went, I, I, I always loved uh, 
you know, all the musical variety shows on television and performing when I was a kid and goofing off. You know, I was like class clown and all that stuff. It was always kind of more of a dream. And then a friend of mine said, hey, I'm going to go to City College and audition for the Theater Academy. Would you like to come along? And I said, well, OK, I'll try it. And I did. And I got in and I got the bug. I just, you know, I got on stage in front of that live audience and connected with him and I had the bug. Because you've I done a do lot it. of live theater. Theater's yeah. pretty much your first yeah. love, I guess. It, I it really is. And, and the longer I'm in this business, uh, the more uh, apparent that is to me that, you know, live theater, there's just nothing like it. Who have been your, your role models? I mean, I know you've been, uh, as Patch and Kayla, I mean, and, and, and just Steven himself has been a role model to many people. Who has been your role models? Well, I've had a couple. In life, I think my grandfather more than anybody, because I grew up with my grandparents mainly and then some other people until I was eight years old, and then I moved with my mother, and uh, she remarried. But uh, my grandfather gave me a great work ethic. He was, he was, uh, he had a great sense of humor. You know, he was just a, he, he just gave me a good foundation for, for life. And then uh, in this business, my role model uh, for a long time, and mentor was John Voigt, who helped me through a lot of uh, difficult periods and, and certain projects that I was working on, gave me some great advice, and uh, he's a sweet guy, he's very giving, and, you know, he's a big celebrity, big movie star, but he's just right there for you. And he's got a hot dog. Let me tell you. Yeah. Angelina Jolie, let me tell you right now. Yeah. Well, thank you very much for thanks, joining us. Thanks. Thanks. Welcome to the show. Yeah, thank you. Thanks. Thanks.